Hello and welcome to HDD Recovery Services. Today I'm working on a flash drive uh, that is made by Lexar. It was bent looking at this connector and a uh, couple of things I wanted to show you today to see what is involved in diagnostics and repair of this unit. So first of all, let's find out what's going on with the device and what can we gather up as major clues to why it's not working. Judging by this connector right here, the unit was put through some stress and it was bent most likely when it was connected to a laptop or some sort of USB port and uh, stopped working afterwards. So what usually happens during these types of things, the easiest thing to guess would be we will have a break on the connector line. And uh, looking at the connector line right here, it looks all good to me seems like other than the anchors nothing really suffered anchors took in all the stress but connections between the pads and the headers they're still there uh, we may have breaks on the um, uh, traces heading into the connector but that is something we can definitely test if we set our multimeter to uh, diode testing if we uh, have uh, connection it's gonna make this sound we're gonna test the ground first. Ground is getting there. And the ground is present. 5 volt. Getting to the header. Getting to the resistor. Data signal. We're getting there. And it hits this, capac uh, this resistor right there. And that one connected. And it's connected as well so we have a connector that is fully attached still let's just check the power and ground we have a short on power and ground usb extension cord is connected directly to the power supply unit plug this in power it back on Yeah, I feel it getting warm. This is the side that I was feeling that was getting warm. The way we're going to test it, we're going to set um, our multimeter to diode test mode. One probe goes on the ground and another one is going to check terminals on uh, neighboring capacitors. To where the heat was being generated no heat here it's good but this capacitor isn't short yeah so this is the guy that's causing all the ruckus there is another way how the short could be determined right now the power supply unit is turned off so there is nothing going into the device what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray cold. I'm going to power up the unit. Okay, so what do we see? We see that controller is generating heat. And, it, and this capacitor on C2 is getting hot. Add a little bit of flux. Turn on the fume extraction. And take out the faulty chip. The faulty capacitor comes off. Now this is a filtering capacitor. We will probably need it in place for clean read. Beep. No beep. All right, that looks frosty. The power.
controller is getting warm, that's normal. Okay, that's enough. The consumption is good. What do we get in the USB stabilizer? We get a 14.6 gigabyte capacity recognized, the device mounts, and we can work uh, with it now. Open up our studio. And there's our device. We have them side by side. Let's go into the map. Hex view. And as we scroll it, we can see that locations change and the device is showing some sort of activity. So for those of you who need this service, uh, check the link in the description. Uh, that will take you to our website where you can request a service. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. For those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know when the next video comes out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.